Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're finally gonna expand our pig pen area. So our feeder pigs are right back there in a really small pen where they've been getting trained on electric wire. So we, we wanna give them a lot bigger area for them to root and to just have a little bit more freedom and be able to, you know, be pigs. So we're planning on giving them all this area back here. So we've, we wanna give them these, this area back here in the, in the trees where it's nice and shady for the pigs and it's also pretty overgrown and i'm hoping that they'll kind of clear it out for us and just clean this area up a little bit as well so to make their area bigger we're going to fence it in with a three wire electric fence um, so it'll have a, a bottom wire about six inches off the ground and then there'll be a top wire about 24 inch, inches off the ground so it'll be a pretty short little fence um, and we're doing three wires just for a little bit of added security for us i know a lot of people only do maybe even one wire or maybe two wires, but we're gonna do three. Uh, we're, at least we're gonna try to do three if we got enough wire, uh, just for a little added security to, to keep the pigs in. So I think I've got everything gathered up to make the fence. Uh, I've got some T-posts. We're gonna use a T-post for our corners and where we turn the fence. And I've got some of those little rebar posts and we're gonna use those as little line posts in between our turns and our straight, in our straight runs. And, um, yeah, I think we've already got a, a path mode. We've, we've mowed a path, we've cleared an area for this fencing to be able to go through the trees and around. And I think we're ready to get started. So um, one other thing we did was we bought a couple of hog panels. So they're a really short stock panel. I think they're only 24 inches tall, made specifically for pigs. And we're gonna set those two up over on the, the side next to the barn. So the barn has got all the hog food in it. It's only a few feet away, and we're gonna use the area where we set up these two uh, stock panels to be able to feed and water the pigs, interact with the pigs. It'll give us a good place to do that without having to worry about electric fence. It's also be an easy way for us to step into the pig area without worrying about electric fence as well. So that's the way we're gonna set this up. We're gonna set up 32 feet of non-electrified fence for, for us to be able to interact with the pigs, and then electric fence is gonna go all the way around the rest of the the pig pen so let's go ahead and get started and we'll start putting our posts in and kind of laying out the way this fence is going to wrap around here through the woods So we just got done driving in all of our T-posts for our corners and anywhere that the fence turns or takes a jog through the woods, we've got a T-post in the ground for where the fence is going to turn. So what we're going to be using for uh, insulators today is we're going to be using these Lockjaw uh, T-post insulators. So these are a made in the USA product and this isn't sponsored or anything like that. I bought these myself and ordered them and I thought these would work out great for electric fence on pigs so because these would make great insulators on outside corners because if you look at this it's got uh, it's got a groove that runs in here it has a perfect horseshoe shape so you can take your wire it'll bend through there perfectly make an outside corner turn to where it's supposed to go it's got this nice clip here to hold it into the t-post insulator and this snaps on to a t-post instead of just one way this will snap on there about four different ways so I think this lockjaw T-post insulator will work perfect for outside corners on electric fence. And this being such a short electric fence, it's only gonna be like 24 inches tall. I think T-posts are gonna work fine for outside corners because there's not gonna be a lot of strain. It'll be low to the ground. It's not gonna be a high up fence. So together with the T-post being a short fence and these insulators, I think it's gonna work out really great for our electric fence today. So one other product that I ended up buying from Lockjaws is they have uh, a product for attaching fence to your T-post. So normally you have to have this little bent piece of wire that you put around your fence and then you have to get a little bender and you twist the wire around the fence to attach it to the T-post. And we do a lot of temporary fencing. So a lot of times after we do that and we take the fence apart, we have to cut those off and throw them away. 
Well, these are easier that the ones that they made are made out of spring steel. So it's uh, it wants to spring back. So you can kind of bend them, but then they're gonna tighten back up and you don't have to bend anything and they're reusable. So you don't have to throw them away when you're done. So I've got these uh, little T-posts, um, you know, I don't know what you wanna call them, but they, they attach the fence to your T-post. And the great thing about them is they've got a big enough loop in here that it'll fit around a stock panel. So we can use this to attach the hog panels to our T-posts. And when we wanna take it back off, all we gotta do is flex this spring steel and get it back off and you can reuse them. So I think that's a great little product also from Lockjaws. And I bought quite a few of these because we do a lot of temporary fence and use a lot of T-posts. So I think these will come in handy. And uh, I love the idea that these are reusable. So. Let's go ahead and uh, start snapping these insulators on and getting all our heights right, start running our electric fence. So we're gonna start our electric fence off of this post right here. So I'm just gonna basically tie it kind of back to itself. If I didn't have a dog <laughs> on me. I'm just making sure to get this fence inside of these insulators as I go. So this fits in there pretty tight. I about got to do a nice little bend to get it inside of there. But uh, I think it's pretty secure once it gets in. So I got to the end of that one spool of wire, so I just made a simple splice here to tie on the next spool. And uh, just a pretty simple connection. If you don't feel like this is going to be good enough of a connection, you can always take an extra piece of wire and just start wrapping back here and just wrap all the way across this connection back to here. You know, about 12 inches and you'll definitely have a good connection. So I'm just going to tie this on here kind of loose for now, and at the very end we'll tighten everything up.
All right, we got all our line posts in and all the heights adjusted for the wire. So before I tighten the fence, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie this post back to this post. We're gonna pull this together, kinda take this gap out between the stock panel and this T post. Plus that's gonna, when I tighten this fence, it'll have to pull against both of these posts. So hopefully it'll help keep everything a little bit, uh, you know, tighter and nothing loosens up. So we're gonna do the same thing to this side. We won't really have to pull it much together because um, it doesn't have much of a gap like the other side did. So we're just, just gonna tie them together just to make them so it's pulling on both posts. So the fence actually looks pretty good right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten this up a little bit and tie it off. To tighten it up, I'm gonna just pull it this way with my arm. And then I'm gonna come back about four inches and tie this off. So this is just simple electric fence. I mean, we're not really trying to make this super tight. We just wanna keep it from, you know, getting loose and laying on the ground and short now. So where we splice these wires together, I'm gonna go ahead and just start wrapping the wire around that just to make sure we got good uh, continuity with our electric wire so we don't have any you know that way every place is definitely electrified we got good connection here so I put this whole fence together I didn't use any crimps or anything last time I used crimps and I tried to probably over complicate it so this time I've definitely just tried to simplify it and hand tied pretty much everything so it's day two on the pig pen build and we've basically finished the fence for their new pig pen and built it around their old one. So today is moving day. We're gonna finally move the pigs out here into their new area. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this electric fence charger moved out and hooked up to the new fence. And then we're gonna go ahead and move their feed trough and their water and they should be all set up. So I ended up running the garden hose over these ground rods to help them pull out easier. These are only four foot ground rods, so they're not in there very deep. So hopefully I can pull these out by hand. So to tie these three fences together, I'm just gonna use another piece of scrap wire and I'm just going to wrap it around the top one. All right, so I've got about eight wraps on there. That ought to be enough. I'll work down to this next one and I'll zigzag back the other direction. And then down to the bottom, make a bunch of wraps on that one. And this should connect all of this fencing electrically together without having to use any crimps or anything. So I've got the electric fence charger turned on now. So I'm going to go ahead and let the pigs out so they can explore their new area. So 
So this fence was just attached by zip ties. So I'm just going to cut them off. We'll just remove this whole side of their pin and they should be able to come right out. Come on out. See what you got here. I know, look at this. There's no fence panel no more. You guys can come out. Are you afraid to cross? Mm-hmm. Come on out. So pigs are a little bit leery of crossing over where their fence used to be. So it'll give them a little bit of time here and they'll finally test this area and realize they can walk across it. But they're a little confused right now. So the pigs are still pretty leery about venturing too far from the original pig pen. So I'm sure it'll take a day or two before they really venture out and see how big their new area is. So the area is not quite as big as what I originally planned for it to be. I was going to go kind of back behind the parking area. But uh, I was definitely going to have to go through there and maybe clear some brush and some trees. It was going to be a lot harder to run the fence in that direction. So I decided to just give them this area for now and see how much they clean up. If they end up clearing this whole area out, then we can expand the fence pretty easily. But uh, anyway, I think that's it for today's video. The pigs got a brand new area and uh, they just don't know how big it is yet. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Come on. I'm messing my garden hose. go this one oh you both can't get your heads in there can you? oh all right come on